Hello viewers, welcome today um, to another episode of um, um, security. Um, now last time we were doing um, pass the hash and a golden ticket attack. Well today we'll be doing DC Shadow. Now I'm not going to go into much explanation what is DC Shadow. I'm just going to be showing you how to do a DC Shadow attack on Windows Server 2022 using a Windows 11 22H2 client. Um, so I'm not going to go into specifics, I'm going to give you some links in, in, in the description in what it is. I want to keep this video as short as possible, I just want to show you how to do it. That's all I want to do, so let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do basically is, is you want to have a compromised Active Directory account. So this is an example of Active Directory. We are currently logged into user UF5 and as you can see we are a member of domain users. So we only have basic user privileges. We are on organizational test, as you can see over here. So as we can see, basically we have information available to us. Um, we can see get, we can see this command ran over here, and we can see basically test DC parrot DC green. So the common name would be user uf dot five. So this would be the common name over here we would enter. Okay, so let's head over now to the um, to the client and let's get started. So this is Windows 11, latest version, 22 HD, up to date, completely as of, as of the 17th or 11th of 2022. Now past the hash no longer works in this version, so we need to use a different version to get access to the um, to the administrator account, but that can be done with ease. We have a backup service account running here with domain admin credentials, as you can see over here, domain admins, and this is the seed we, we want to gain up to, we want to get, we want to get to it. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to gain access to it. It's pretty easy. The bit is 3944. So all we need to do is using using this, we run our system plus. I already done it, so I don't have to do it again. So we've got a tools, we've got a token, open process. And now we search for it carefully. And see where it says 3944. Okay. Token, anti create token, low from CMD EXE. Okay, but we're not done yet. Privileges, edit. Got to press Control A, Control A. Enable the selected ones. As you can see, not need to add any more longer. Groups, add a seed. Get current logon seed. Select mandatory. Okay. Make sure it says mandatory logon. Create. Press yes. And then we can go and say run with this token. Run, and there we are. Now we're running with now we're running with this service parrot backup service which is running as domain admin so now we have access to the domain admin um, account and we can verify by running n o t e p a d open backshus backshus d c 1 Backshot C dollar sign. As you can see, we have access to the, we access to the domain controller. If I try running it in my computer, DC one, I get access denied. Now, if I go to over here and go to CMD, and I try to ever let my ever let my privileges, I get a prompt. If I try typing U S E R F I V E password into my password, this request operation requires elevation, so I cannot elevate my privileges further. So effectively, let's type in my CMD here and let's compare who am. I slash a l l. You can see I'm a standard user account, so I cannot, I barely can do anything. Can't even install, can't do anything. Now for this operation to work, we need Mimi Cats to run as anti authority system, and we need Mimi Cats to run as a domain admin account. Now apart from that, we need to have Windows Firewall turned off completely. That can be done by hijacking a a, a local admin account. 
Because a local admin account can turn the firewall off. And, and of course, by exploiting this, this domain admin service account that's running in Task Scheduler. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. And we're now going to shift home. And we're going to we're going to go into here, Mimi cuts. And now we are going to run the command. So let's run this. So this is basically a system account firewall turned off, and we're going to run this command over here. So basically, what this is basically is DC Shadow. Which is basically becoming a rogue active rogue domain controller within Mimikatz. The the object is user uf5 organizational unit test parrot.green attribute the seed history. This is a, the this is the domain admin seed that we wish to add to the user account. And I put this put it there. As you can see. There we are. Now we run this as domain admin. In this case, backup service. And now we push it. And there we are. Now, this automatically is not going to do much for us. For this to work, what we need to do is close this window. Close this window, close this window, close this window, and close this window. This is running a system, so it doesn't really matter. User 5, sign out. Now we're typing up, now we're typing the password again. And now we'll see what happens this time now. We'll just wait for the we'll just wait for the for the user account to load in. It's a slow virtual machine. And theoretically we should get a new token, theoretically speaking. We should be able to access the, the, the domain controller's um, C dollar sign. Let's see if it's worked. And as we can see, we can access the domain controller. We can create a new shortcut. There we are. There's a new shortcut over there. You can see it. Cancel. Now, if I go to CMD, and let's try to elevate our privileges this time. Run as administrator. Oh, look at over here. It's changed. I'm asking for a username and password. But then I can click on yes this time. Let's see when I do a who, who am I all slash all, who am I slash A-L-L. -L. And as we can see, this time we went from domain users over here to parrot domain admins. So this time, this user account that used to be a domain users now has admin privileges to the entire forest of parrot.green. So as you can see, we can use DC Shadow basically to push basically stuff to Active Directory. Basically, in this case, basically adding a seed, basically through seed history to this user account to basically do privilege escalation for this account. And this is actually for persistence as well. So basically, in, 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 in this case, this account basically from now on is now administrator by default, this, this, this stuff. Now, I will put... This, I will put um, um, I will put descriptions and um, links down for this for, for how this works more in detail because I don't want this video to go too long. This was a video. To sh this was a video to show you um, how to do it, uh, how to tutorial and how to do it. Um, so um, for any questions, uh, feel free to post. Um, but um, I will post the links um, on. Um, for extra resources basically on what this sort of attack is so you can get more insight basically in, in how it works and uh, what medications you can take against it anyway thanks for watching